Welcome to 30 Second Chances, where we ask industry insiders deep, inquisitive questions and give them far too little time to formulate thoughtful, <laughs> reflective answers. Our guest today is Focus Rights' Dan Hughley. Dan, how you doing? Doing great, Daniel. How about yourself? I'm doing fantastic, thanks. Okay, you know the rules. 30 seconds on the clock and then on to the next question. Are you ready? I am ready as I'm going to be. <laughs> Excellent. Question number one. How has the shutdown impacted your work? Well, obviously, I'm doing a lot more working from home, which, um, and then it's just a much higher workload as we're trying to pivot different things and keep ourselves busy creating content. Um, just seems like I'm uh, busier than I've ever been, which as I talk to other people around the industry, they're feeling uh, the same thing. Um, but, you know, that's not a bad thing. Uh, working from home, I'm a bit more efficient, so I'm able to get it all done and uh, from the comfort of my home. And so under time. time. Look at that. Look at that. Question two. <laughs> what have you been doing to pivot and adapt your own skills to the current reality? Um, you know, a lot more online content. Um, I'm working on a, an event that's coming up in the next couple of weeks. Uh, it was going to be an in-person event, but now it's a virtual event. So we are, we're changing uh, the, the feel of that. Um, and I'm changing my presentation slightly to cater more to an online audience than an in-person audience, because obviously um, I won't be able to ask questions in the same way and won't be able to get feel the audience quite the same way. And there won't be quite as much networking. Um, but yeah, we're just trying to create as much content. And um, Question three. What do you think <laughs> the recovery is going to look like for the audio industry? You know, it's going to be an interesting landscape when we get out of all of this. I've been thinking of that. And I, I think it's going to change dramatically, but I don't think that's a negative thing. You know, some people fear change. I like to embrace change. Um, and, you know, this shutdown might be something that we've needed, not just the audio industry, uh, um, but all industry. You know, we, we tend to fall into patterns. Um, but, you know, maybe they'll, we'll, we're going to find out how many of these uh, – uh, um, meetings could have just been simple emails or phone calls uh, at the bottom of it. But. Question four, what are you working on now? Uh, right now, like I said, I was, I'm working on um, uh, that, that uh, Outlier PodFest, uh, working on my presentation for that. Um, I'm working on uh, just content. I'm going to be doing a webinar with MXL Microphones, um, talking to podcasters. I'm doing a bunch of guitar contests, partnering up with some really good guitar companies, um, as well as our internal brands like Atom Audio and Novation, um, just to keep people involved and, and, you know, just try to, you know, bring some positivity to people uh, as all of this goes down. Question five. If you could collaborate with one person, living or dead, during this pandemic, who would it be? You know, this is a personal one to me, and you may know the answer to this one before you ask that question. Um, you know, there's one person that I always worked with really well, uh, someone we lost uh, three years ago, uh, Mr. Rick McClendon. Uh, he was my mentor, uh, not only in my business uh, dealings and uh, in work stuff, but also in my personal life. And, you know, he was kind of that guy that could always keep me calm and keep me focused on, on the bigger picture and instead of, um, you know, delving into the minutia and getting that, uh, getting frustrated with all of that. Yeah, I know it well, man. I miss Rick as well. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put 30 more seconds on the clock and give you a chance to just answer any questions you wish I had asked you. Oh, did I write? Hold on. Did I write down any questions? Probably ah, not. You, know what? You, you, you had a good bonus question. You had a good bonus question. Uh, not really business related, but what did I stock up on and buy way too much of? How's that for a question? That'll work. Uh, <laughs> macaroni and cheese. For some reason, um, way early on, in, in early February, when we kind of got an idea of something coming, my wife and I decided to go to Costco and buy a case of macaroni and cheese. We don't eat a lot of macaroni and cheese. <laughs> we have it. Uh, I think one box is gone. Well, I, I, I was um, I remember reading somewhere that actually Costco is selling a 50 gallon drum of macaroni and cheese. It's already prepared and that's disgusting. It really is. That just kind of <laughs> didn't work for me at all. But hey, you know, who am I to say there are probably people who just love that kind of stuff. Anyway, yeah. uh, thanks for playing our game. It's been fun having you and uh, I'm sure we'll see you again real soon. Sounds great. Thank you, Daniel.